national, state and territory laws are in place to create uniformity, safety, and stability when storing, handling, preparing and cooking food. It is the responsibility of everyone to comply with these laws. Each of these laws are designed to protect the customer, employer and employees. There is a difference between Acts of Parliament, regulations, codes of practice and standards. You can read more about these in your before class information pages in Google Docs. An Act is a bill passed through Parliament to become a law. These are also known as a piece of legislation. New South Wales has the Food Act 2003. A regulation is similar to a law. A regulation also has guidelines outlining the required behaviour required to achieve compliance. Codes of practice outline minimum standards relating to food safety programmes, food safety practices, food premises and equipment, food safety for vulnerable people, fail to comply with laws, regulations or codes of practice, then you may receive consequences such as warnings, fines, inspections court action or even closure of your business. New South Wales Food Authority is a regulatory body that works with local councils to ensure food safety and food quality management. We will look further at their role in class. See you in class for more investigation into compliance with hygiene laws. MrLightfoot.com. Get ahead.